Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about Ackerman. My name is Randy Famoso, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm explaining this because a lot of people interested in motorsports don't understand it, and it's good to know because it can be a major factor when selecting a suspension design. Okay, so positive Ackerman is what most cars have nowadays. It's natural for cars to have the lead wheel having more angle than the trailing wheel, because when a car is turning, each wheel is taking its own path. And the natural position is for the lead wheel to be turning further than the trailing wheel. The way Ackerman is adjusted is by where the tie rod is mounted to the knuckle of the vehicle. And some aftermarket suspension offers adjustable settings or non-adjustable settings. Either way, it's important for you to know. An example of an angle kit that has positive Ackerman is my 370Z's angle kit, which I will now show on the screen. This angle kit has adjustable Ackerman, but both settings are positive. That means that no matter what setting I run, my lead wheel is going to have more angle than my chase wheel. And the car does feel good that way. And when you're drifting, it gives you good speed and lots of self-steer. Self-steer is important in drifting because you're not holding onto the wheel all the time. You do need the car to drive itself a little bit. That's how you maximize your control of the vehicle. Parallel is when the wheels have exactly the same amount of angle when they're turned. Having the wheels running parallel on the front makes it so that you can drift with more angle, but also makes it so that you have less self-steer. However, most pro drivers prefer this setting. One angle kit manufacturer that's famous for having parallel settings on their suspension design is WiseFab, so I'll show an example of that now. This is an unnatural suspension design, but a lot of pro drifters love it, and what they do with their cars proves that this is a good choice for drifting. Now let's talk about negative or reverse slash anti Ackerman. This is when your chasing wheel has more angle than the leading wheel. What's strange here is that when you're controlling your vehicle, you mostly control it with the chasing wheel, which is kind of an unnatural thing to do. I have seen some F1 drivers do it, and I'll show you a picture of that now. As you can see, that's being done there, and what they're doing is using the trailing wheel to steer their car. That's very strange and unnatural to me, but some people like it. It's not for me to decide whether you like it or not. All I wanted to do with this video is give a quick overview of what it is so you can understand it and dig deeper into it if the topic interests you. While we're talking about negative Ackerman, I wanted to mention, since E36 and E46 chassis are so cheap and so great for drifting, a lot of people get them and then they want to keep their budget low so they buy these eBay angle kits which I'll show you now. These angle kits are like 20 to 30 US dollars, which is a bargain for some angle. But the problem is that they have this negative Ackerman, which makes it such your trailing wheel has more angle than the leading wheel, which often results in the wheels locking in place when drifting. So you should really think twice about purchasing that. I personally would recommend getting a proper SLR angle kit on your BMW. I know some drivers do prefer to have negative Ackerman when driving. I really don't understand how they do that. I would never do that. But if you like that, good for you. Maybe there's something you could show me about this. Anyway, that was a brief overview about Ackerman. I hope you guys understand it a little better now. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.